Hi there, I'm Jackie, and I'm presenting you today another workout in our bikini season series. Today we're going to work cardio. We're going to do one interval of cardio and one interval of toning exercises. The toning exercises include booty and abs. We want to flatten our abs today. And we want to sculpt our booty, get rid of cellulite, trim our thighs. So for this workout today, I've designed in total 10 exercises. So the first exercise or the first interval consists of five exercises, which are cardio only. And we're going to repeat that twice. And the next interval is toning exercises. And we're going to repeat this interval three times. We're having five exercises. So in total, we want to work 25 sets. We're going to work 50 seconds each exercises. And we're having 15 seconds of active or recovery while we're still moving or we're preparing for the next exercise. All right, got that so far? But even if you don't, doesn't matter. Just keep on step touching here with me. I'm going to set my timer and we want to start with a warm up. Step touch here wide. Okay. Step back. Tap that toe back. Sway your arms into this move. Skater arms. Come on, let's get the heart rate up here. Tap your toe behind the standing leg. Good. Two more. Last one. Step touch with arm rows. Pinch your shoulder blades together. Good. Now take your arms up and overhead with hamstring curls. There you go. Excellent. Now roll your arms. Pull your arms strong down. Elbows strong down into your rib cage. Curl your heel in. Good. We want to get the blood flowing. Get our muscles warm. Excellent. All right, last one here. Now cross dig your heel in front of you. Hinge at the hips, roll your arms. I'm gonna show you from the side. You see my body and my legs are in a straight line because I'm hinging here at the hips. Booty is squeezing tight, abs are pulling tight. Pull your navel in. Good. Now, step tap with me here, arms on guard, jab at me here. Four times to the front and four times up. Now, one more and four times to the front. Come on, jab at me, full force, and up. One more, and front. Good. I want you to pivot your hip and your heel. Last one here. Step tap, alternating arm circles, come on. Beautiful, last one here. Now I want you to take it singles on one side. Let's go. I said last one, but I wasn't done yet. I'm sorry. Four more. Three, two, one, other side. Four more here. Three more, and now we're gonna take it center with both arms. Eight more, come on. 
Get down, get low, use your thighs. Abs are pulling tight, four more. Three, two, one. Step touch, arm rows. One more, tap your toes behind with skater's arms, skater arms, come on. Sway your arms, abs are tight, feel your obliques you're working. Okay, last one. Come into a side lunge and stretch your inner thigh here. Open up your hip. Pulse. Other side. One more time to the right. And one more time to the left. Now once you come into a back lunge, and I want you to have both hands to the inside of your palm, back leg is straight, and pulse. Dip your triceps here and feel your pelvis opening up. Excellent. Let's do that on the other side. Lunge back, palms to the inside of your foot, back leg is straight, and pulse. Excellent. Couple more here. Four, three, two, one. Come on up. Step touch. We're warmed up. Heart rate is up. In order to keep it up, we want to step touching here while we're watching the exhibition of the coming interval, the exercise of the coming interval in the above window pane here. I'm going to explain what you see. So we're having two butterfly jacks. with four aisle jacks. I want you to alternate the side that you're jumping into the aisle jack, all right? I want you to land light on your feet, in the jack, even in the aisle shuffle. Great. Then we're having a curtsy with overhead circles. Jump to the other side. Your abs need to be really tight on this. Beautiful. And I want you to lunge or into, come into that curtsy lunge low. Get low and then jump over to the other side with your arms circling overhead. The next one is a sit up burpee. You can do this exercise only with momentum. If you're really, really tiger or lion, if you're really strong, you don't need much momentum. Tuck your heels close to your butt so that you can jump up into that squat jump. If you want extra challenge, use a weight. The next one is a diagonal front lunge and a diagonal back lunge with two knee repeaters and then with a the front and a back kick. I'm gonna repeat that on the other side. Nice kickboxing elements in our cardio interval but also lots of core beautiful let's get ready for the first exercise I'm going to come to the center again we want to get prepared for the butterfly jack with two with four aisle jacks I'm gonna wait for my timer here to vibrate so that I can inform you when the last 15 seconds of preparation are starting up before we're gonna start the exercises. Still here, arm rowing, and really have your arms strong. I want you to use your entire body, your abs are tight. All right, 15 seconds to go before we're gonna start the interval. Are you ready? Let's start butterfly jacks here. And I'll shuffle. Three, four, and 
for it. <laughs> Alternate legs. I mix it up. Doesn't matter, just keep on going. Four and two jacks. Three, four and. I'm mixing it up all the time. Come on. Oh good. Curtsy side lunges. Hops. With arms overhead. Coming to curtsy. Into starting position. Ready? Let's oh, hop over. Coming to curtsy. Hold your arms at the side. Hop. Land light. We don't need to go for speed here on this. We want to go for form. So your abs are really pulling tight. Make sure you're sitting back so that your knee is tracking over your ankle or is not passing your toes. Whew. Couple more here. Last one. For the next exercise, grab your mat. We want to come into sit up burpees. So come to the end of your mat with your booty, with your hips. Now I want you to tuck your heels in, right? Tuck your heels in, take momentum and jump up into a squat jump. If you want extra challenge, <laughs> if you want extra challenge, take, grab a weight. So if I, can, if I speak, I can't do this one. So just watch me. All right, last one here. Oh. We're having diagonal front lunges and back lunges. Come on. And then two knees. Front kick, back kick. Front kick is through your laces. Back kick through your heel. Other side. I'm already a sweaty mess. With the next go round, I'm going to get rid of that shirt here. Whew. It's too hot today. Front lace kick, back heel kick. Oh, I forgot the knee repeater. I'm so excited about this workout.
have a quick breather. I'm gonna get rid of my shirt. I want you to step touch here with arm rows. Catch your breath. Oh, that feels much better. <laughs> so the next exercise, or the first exercise of the first interval is two jacks with aisle shuffles. But for now, take a quick breather. Are you with me? Come on, we're, burning. we're gonna burn tons of calories here with this one. Interval workout is the most efficient one, proven to burn fat and calories even when you rest. So starting with the cardio interval, we're gonna boost our metabolism and kick our heart rate up for the upcoming toning exercises to really get right into the muscle. Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, start with two jacks here, butterfly jacks. Come on, start. Two, three, four, and Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And two butterfly jacks. You see how I'm mixing up all the time. But it doesn't matter as long as we're gonna go here, finishing up the exercises. Catch your breath quickly. We're gonna go build into curtsy lunge hops with overhead arm circles. Come to curtsy, arms are here at the side. Pop over and circle your arms wide. Get low and that curtsy. Pop wide. Push yourself up from the sole of your foot to hop over. Grab your mat and we're going to come into sit up burpees. Get down and let's get started here. Like I said, for extra challenge, grab a weight. Otherwise, just tuck your heel close to your butt and hop up. All right. <sighs> Diagonal front lunges, back lunges, <sighs> knee repeaters, <sighs> front kick, back kick. Ready? Come on. This is the last exercise. 
And then we're going to come to the floor Whew. for the toning intervals. But first, I'm going to give you the exhibition. Whew. Quick breather, other side. Whew. Keep on moving, your body is strong. Come on, next, other side here. Front, lace kick, back heel kick. Abs are tight. the exhibition of the upcoming exercises here in the right window pane. I'm going to explain to you what you're seeing. So we're having on stomach toe circles, which basically means I want you to really get your foot up to your opposite fingertips. You will not probably not be able to do to reach your fingertips with the first round not even with the second round, but try to get as close as you can. Abs are tight and you're really working your booty here. It's going to, you need to squeeze your glutes and your booty to protect your lower back and to tighten and flatten your abs. The next move is a knee plank. We're going to tap our knee on the mat. Then we're going to come and touch our knee to our elbow. Touch it in the center and then Extend back and up. Knee tap center. Extend to the side and up. This is working our core. And fight cellulite. Squeeze sculpting our booty. All right. And of course, we're going to repeat that on the other side. Then we want to use two towels or two paper plates if you're on carpet. Or you might even have sliders exercise sliders, use them here. I want you to come into a reverse plank. Your heels are tucked on the, on the uh, uh, sliders, paper plates, or towels. And I want you to pull your heel into your butt, alternating sides, while really keeping that, pl that plank, that reverse plank strong. All right. Good. The last exercise is a plie with side bends. We're having an alternative, or we're having, what can I say, um, an advanced version. If you want, you can stay on that plie four times, and then I want you to come up, and give me a heel, uh, elbow knee crunch while standing and then come back into the plie. You can either stay in the plie and just alternating side bends here without coming up or coming up with elbow knee plank and uh, knee crunches. Okay. We got this. Beautiful. So I want you to grab your mat now. We want to come on our stomachs. And we want to start with a toe circles to our to, to our fingertips. So you're going to come on your stomachs. You're here. Spread your arms wide to the side. Make sure you have enough space to circle around. So now I want you to lift your right leg and touch it up to the left arm. 
look into the opposite direction while you're doing this. Keep your abs really tight. Squeeze your booty. Come on. Give me one more on both sides. Okay. I want you to come into that knee plank position. Wrists are right underneath your shoulders and your knees are right underneath your hips. Okay. I want you to shift your body weight a little bit to the other side. Tap. Get up. Touch your knee to your elbow and then tap the knee center extend up it's more of a fold out of the leg it's not a kick i want you to have your abs really tight here while you're tapping your knee to your elbow you're working your obliques working your booty fighting sally light here long and lean legs here with this exercise and flat abs. Hoo -hoo -hoo. I need to wipe off my sweat quickly and we're gonna come to the other side. Oh, oh, oh. It's so good. You ready? Strong abs, come on, tap. Extend. Straight up and to diagonally. Grab your towels, paper plates, or sliders for the next one. I want you to come to reverse plank. Tuck your heels on the towels or your whatever tool you're having. Fingertips are pointing to your booty. Flat plank and slide in. Slide that heel in. Abs are really tight. Your hips are staying up. I don't want you to. Sink down with your hips. This is also good for your shoulders and your arms. Whew. Come on, pull it. Pull in tight. You got this. Whew. Abs tight. Couple more. Almost there. Good, drop your hips. Woo. And then we're gonna come into a plie with side bends. So you're here, palms behind your head, and I want you to bend your elbow down into your thigh. Advanced version is you're coming up, Four side bends. And then you're coming up. Whatever version you choose. Get, stay low on that plie. Your booty is right above your heels. Arms are right wide open to the side. Don't do this. 
Get as low as you feel comfortable. Whew. Come on up, release. Quick breather. Have a sip of water if you want. And if you need, wipe your sweat. And we're gonna come on our stomachs. We're gonna do the rotations. Touching our heel or our toes to our fingertips. But first, before we're gonna come to the floor, I want you to still take that time here, breathe. I hope you're sweating just as I am. Feeling your glutes here. Oh, I'm feeling my thighs, my glutes, my booty. That's the good thing about workout. When you're feeling your body, your muscles afterwards or during, that means you're doing it right and you're challenging your muscles. Come to the floor now. Extend your arms to the side. Abs tight. Your navel is really tucked in. Head is lifted, chin is pointing to the floor. Now I want you to touch your heel, your toes to your, the opposite hand. Get it as high as you can or as close to your hand as you can or to your arm. And look into the opposite direction while you're tapping or you're getting your circling and twisting your leg back. Abs are really, really tight. Squeeze that booty. Excellent, now coming to new tank. Knees are right underneath your hips. Straight back. Don't suck in like this. I want your abs to be strong. So tap your knee to your elbow. Tap center. Extend your leg back and up and to the side. Let's do that on the other side. I didn't talk much there. I've really focused on my forearm and you should do the same. I really want you to focus on your booty squeezing when you unfold your leg back. Your abs are really tight and I want you to try to stay centered with your hips. A couple more here. Good. Grab your towels or your tools for the reverse plank slide in. Get it going. Lift it. Reverse plank. So your hips are up. Your wrists are right underneath your shoulders here. Pull your heel in. And keep your hips up. Whew. 
Feeling that booty and glutes? Oh my goodness. Abs tight. Keep your pelvis up. Hold tight. Stay with me. Couple more. Woo! Drop your hips. I want you to come into that plie. Plie. Into the plie. Palms behind your head. And side bend. You have the alternative to come up and crunch your, your knee into your elbow and then come back into that plie. I'm gonna stay here low because I really wanna work my booty. So this is really challenging your inner outer thighs, your glutes and your booty. It challenges your shoulders, your abs, your obliques. Stay strong. Arms really wide open. Stay low. Come on. Woo. Come on up, release. And relax. One more round. Catch your breath. Step touch. Have a sip of water. Whew. I need that break too. <laughs> All right. Now watch you come and lay on your stomachs again. This is the last round and then we're done. We're gonna do some stretching and then you're good to go. All right, now come to the floor. Arms spread wide open to the side. You're here, your, your head is lifted, your chin is pointed to your chest. Your abs are tight, your navel is tucked in and I want you to lift and circle your leg or your toes up to your opposite arm hand while you're looking into the opposite direction this is the last round like i said give me your all make this count here Your muscles are all tight here. You're also working on your flexibility here with this exercise. Such a simple one. But doing so much good for your body. Come on up into your knee plank position. We're going to get straight into Knee to elbows with back leg extensions. You ready? Come on. Tap, extend, and diagonally. Come to the side here. Abs are really tight. Booty is tight. Focus on your form. Last one. Change that. I'm really sweating.
quick breather. Come on, I gotta go in here. Tap and extend. Give me two more. Be strong here. Woohoo! Sliders, reverse plank. Tuck your heels on your towels or tools. Lift your hips up, wrists are right underneath your shoulders, and pull your heel in. Alternating sides. Hips, hip is lifted. <laughs> You're doing great. Four more, three, two, last one, Whew. drop your hips, oh, I'm feeling this everywhere, good, now I want you to come into that plie, ready, palms behind your head, let's go. Get low, stay low, arms wide open. Give me 10 more here, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and release. Whew. Step touch. How are you doing? That was good. I'm really feeling this everywhere now. Let's get the heart rate down. Hamstring curls. Did a great job there. Okay, coming to side lunge. Pulse. Do that on the other side. Now I want you to come with your feet wide. Touch your palm fingertips to the floor. I want you to do the toe touch circles. Circle up. Now circle back down. And come on over to the other side. Keep your knees soft on this. Feel the stretch through your hamstrings. Squeeze that booty when you circle up on the other side.
give me one more to that side here and then one more to the other side now circle back center hold here I want you to grab your elbows and release your neck bend to one side then bend to the other Now release your hands. I want you to grab, hold onto one of your foot and fold into that side so you're feeling a strong stretch here in your hamstring. And also here over, coming up from your hip, releasing your lower back. Do that on the other side. come center now roll up one little bit of time shoulders come up last I want you to come into lunge position come into runner's lunge stretch open your knee to the side back leg is straight now drop your knee to the floor and I want you to give me Overhead bend. Now shift your body weight into the front leg so that you're really feeling your hip flexor here stretching, your quad is stretching. Now pull back, push your hips back, front heel is on the floor strong. Good, release. Step back, press your heel on the floor. Core is really tight, your torso is upright. Beautiful. Now we want to do that on the other side. So come into that lunge. Back leg is straight, Ronald's lunge, lunge stretch. You're here. Open your knee, your front knee here a little bit further out to the side. If you can, follow with your eyes. Otherwise, just make sure that both arms are parallel to each other in one line. You did a great job. Now drop your knee, your back knee on the floor and give me side bend overhead. Now push your body weight into that front leg. Get your hip flexor stretched here. Your quad of your back leg. Good. Now push the, your hips back. Keep your front heel on the floor. Pull back. Stretch here. Good, now stand up, press your back heel on the floor, torso is upright, core is strong. You will stretch in your calf here of your back leg. Beautiful, now release. Come with both feet close together now. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. One more. Thanks for working out and sweating with me today in one of the workouts in my bikini season series. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're feeling your glutes and thighs here and you will feel them tomorrow, that's a promise. So I hope you join me in one of the next workouts here in this series or for any other workouts on my YouTube channel. For that, I want you to subscribe 
I really, I'm really looking forward for likes or comments. So just join me here in our effort to get our body shaped up or get fit, feel better, whatever your goal is. I'm supporting you on this one. Hope to see you again next time and please also like me on Facebook if you want. See you again soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.